Good. Yeah, no. Come on. <laughs> so back in October, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. My my son's name or something. I don't know something. I wanted so. I was heading down to Kenston Ave, Philly Inc. Where's Danny? There he is. I was going to Danny. So before I get there, I park right outside. Three hookers walk by. You know, they're, they're getting hotter and hotter. They're not getting hotter and hotter. One chick asked me if I want to, if I want a date. I'm like, no thanks. But I'm like, what's on your neck? She's got hickeys. I don't know who the fuck gives a hooker a hickey. <laughs> but she had hickeys. And I was like, so I asked her, I said, what are they? What, what is that? She's like, they're hickeys. And I said, well, what's on your hickeys? She's like, oh, they're just cold sores. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's fucking nasty. So I had to get my blowjob with my eyes closed. <laughs> that was a nasty neck. That was a neck. Kennington Strangler won't even go near. <laughs> <laughs> so I make it inside, and uh, I see my friend Buck, and he, he's fresh out of prison. I'm like, hey Buck, how you doing? He's like, I'm alright. I was like, that's great. And he starts telling me his war stories, how he's the man, he was running shit. And I'm like, cool. I was like, so I, so I fuck with him. I'm like, so do you miss the sex? And he gives me his deep voice and his prison eyes, and he's like, no. And uh... And he's like, I'm not gay, and I'm like, I was just joking, I wasn't saying you were gay. And uh... Pretending like a Kenzo Cabri. They're all pictures. It's all pictures. So, so Buck just jumps out and he, he just says some retarded shit. He's like, it's only gay if you're cellmate's popping your pimples on your ass and you get a hard on. And I'm thinking it's pretty gay if your cellmate's popping the pimples on your ass. Some of us don't think it's so gay, Benny. It's <laughs> normal life, well it was. So, I didn't know where Buck was going to go with all this talk of what's gay and what's not gay. So I just wanted to get out of the conversation and I was like, um, Hey, fuck, my friend Joe Shot's having a Halloween party. You want to go? And right after I asked him that, he's like, I'll be there. And I was just trying to get out of the other conversation. So I forgot I even invited him. So we're two hours into the party, and everyone's, you know, just just getting buzzed. And Buck shows up, drunk as hell already. And Buck's in his inflatable penis costume. <laughs> Shit's starting to make sense. I, you know, I get it. And uh, so Buck, you know, two hours go by, Buck's drunk as hell by now, and he looks at me, he's like, Pat, I want to get sick. I was like, alright. I brushed him upstairs to the bathroom. His costume's big as hell, it's the inflatable penis costume. He just rips it off, and he's got the, um, so he rips it off and he's throwing up in the toilet. He's, he's bent up, he's all, bent over, he's all sick. And he's only got a t-shirt and boxers on. And on the back of his box is red, it ain't gonna lick itself. <laughs> like, Alright, it's pretty clear now. Let's go. So he gets done throwing up, you know, and I see him, he faces me and he's his t-shirt. Like I don't know where he was going before this. Maybe he had another party to go to after this, but his t-shirt red. I don't care if you're a proctologist, just finger. <laughs> so I, I'm guessing he had somewhere else to go if he would have made it. So then Buck confesses something. He's like, he's like, Pat, I'm bisexual. I'm like, oh, good for you, Buck. You know, that's great. It's like, uh, you know, I'm not homophobic, so that's cool. So as soon as I say that, he decides to tell me that it's okay. Not that it's okay. He just decides to tell me that. I guess he feels it's okay to start telling me what he's into. He's like, he's like, Pat, I'm in anal beats. I'm like, don't check up. Don't. Fuck. He's like, you know what I like him like? I like him like football. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, but not the aerodynamic way. Sideways on a string. I'm like, that's great. Fuck, like, that's great, I guess. I don't, I mean, I don't even know. 
and he says that he's bisexual. How many knows he's bisexual on that day is that he doesn't care if it's a guy or a girl that pulls him out. As long as they rip him out hard enough to start him with a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know that Buck has a man crush because it's the only person I know that ever bought a five year subscription to Ancestry.com just to see if he was related to the UFC fighter Brock Lesnar. Alright. Well, I have a son. And he's hung like his mother. <laughs> and pussy's like this big. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> so when he was born, we got him a uh, one of them t-shirts with the funny sayings, hung like a five-year-old. And my wife got me one too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, obviously, there's a lot of Kenzos in the house. So. Uh, for whoever's not a Kenzo, here's three things you may or may have not known about Kensington. Kensington is where they changed the name of a white tank top to a white beater. The other one is where the toothbrush was invented. But also, that's where the, the toothpick was invented. Because anywhere else, they'd be a toothpick. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>